Hello, good evening, friends. I hope you all are doing good and welcome to our channel. So this is my fourth video, and this video will be going to be different than previous one because previous one was all about the uh, basics of Talent Open Open Studio, but this video is all about real time scenario. Uh, which you face while working on a project. So I got a new scenario this evening. So I thought, why not to make a video on it? This will help uh, many of us. Okay, the scenario is that we have been a dy dynamic file containing large number of records. Okay, and uh, we need to first, first challenge is that we need to split that record in uh, some specific number of records. Suppose that uh, we have fifty thousand records file. And we need to split into multiple output files like 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. And second challenge is that output file uh, that will be generating that file name should be unique with a sequence. Like at uh, my project got initiated today evening. So at today evening, my input file having 10,000 records. And uh, so that this is first challenge. And we have criteria to separate the files from 10,000 records. And file name should be like output file name should be like file name underscore zero zero one. This is my se unique sequence. Okay. At next day, my input file as it is dynamic, so it is fifteen thousand records containing, and my uh, two output file will be uh, created. Like first is file name underscore underscore two next to the uh, last day one. Okay. And second, uh, uh, other file uh, 003. And at day three, the file will be a single file or multiple file created. It will like start from the 004 sequence. So this is two challenges in this scenario. Let's get back to talent job and start this job. Before that, I have created a test file, okay? Test file containing today data, uh, sorry, today date and uh, some data like uh, around 1000 uh, record. And this is, uh, you need to create this file, okay, for generating. Uh, it, we will be using this file in our job. So this is sequence file, and the initial number from where you need to start your uh, sequence. So this is your initialization. You can say that. So let's get started with our scenario. I have created this talent job with our with today date, so that I do remember. Okay, first of all, I'm going to, uh, I need to figure out how many number do have my input file. Okay, so there is a, a file row count component. This will help us to figure out the number of record. Okay, second, you can make good date dynamic, right? Using a uh, global variable or context variable, any other, or simply directly using uh, talent get uh, current date or format. Uh, uh, function uh, or uh, that right so okay first of all this will help me to figure out the number of records present in my input file second i need to use tlu okay tlu will iterate so i'm using uh, for and initializing it from one step like uh, i have uh, 10000 records so i need to separate it in 2000 200 200 chunks output file until uh, uh, the Termination point, what I need to select. I can't provide number here because you know, uh, number will be static, but my file is dynamic. So just uh, press control press space and use the file row count. So this will give you uh, your termination ending point. Next, you need to use uh, this is loop done. So next, what you need to use, you need to fill, uh, you need to fetch the uh, sequence number. So for sequence number, use T file input delimited. Uh, okay. So I'm using this file and I will not use header as zero because you know, my data, uh, file containing only data. So this I can ignore. Setting any any name, okay. I will be using the same name over here. Okay, this is done. I'll be connecting with the trader. Now next, I have to pass on this i'm assuming that you all aware of each component use it here okay purpose and uh, why we are using it so first of all uncheck this and i will be using here variable name as sequence for my convenience or just i don't know the beginning okay this done so everything done here now i need to use I, I'm using Java here. Why Java? I will tell you this is very important part. With the help of Java, I've created a context variable here, name as sequence. This is string type. 
this variable will this context variable will store my all sequence uh, this variable will contain uh, all my uh, present uh, sequence number okay sorry so this is done also and next i am going to fetch the file from and now am my splitting uh, section is started why i'm using on component to okay, you are you know that right because i have to update on component level so my input file is this i will select limit as this like i am splitting in 200 so i will set limit as like this folder will containing file will be containing only 200 records so this is for my convenience and in header you're not going to select as one so because this is dynamic file so what this on loop you are working so instead of one you will going to select press uh, control plus space and t loop current variable so your loop variable will uh, suppose if you selected one on every loop it will start extracting your data from second row only so we need to update the header also like from where uh, in which uh, row you need to extract on every iteration this section done now my output file generation so this is my output file i will select my location here it's some name final result five underscore why you underscore underscore for spacing uh, and i will be using context variable sequence because i'm keeping my sequence variable there uh, value there right now my extension file extension uh, this is my output file so this will generate yeah okay done why it is showing because i have not selected any schema here so i have only two columns so i will select yeah, f name i hope this is very simple to follow if there is any doubt or confusion please do let me know or if there is any better option to work uh, for this scenario please uh, do let me know also that this will help each other okay this is done now main part is that we know number of uh, uh, rows present in our input file we know sequence number N now we have splitted also our output file now what the most important task is to update the sequence file with the current sequence that will be generated in the file so we are going to use that for t log so t row generator on every iteration i'm using on i'm working on component level so i will be using on component okay so this is my sequence and i'm using here a one one function uh, i will share that function in uh, description that will help you okay so in my value what i need to provide value so uh, what i'm doing that first of all i'm checking sequence and sequence plus this is the main part plus one incrementing on every uh, running loop okay and this is very important most people forget to just change it and uh, the number of 100 records that will be generated in sequence will be generated in your sequence file and your job will not work properly so you will be wondering now why my job not wondering now working sorry so this is number of rows for row generator i need to extract it one now i need to update my sequence file so i will be using t file output okay and i will select the same file because i have to update that only i have to insert data in that file only i will not select header you know why because there is no header and i have to uncheck this option also because this will throw error it will not update my file so yeah we are ready to go see this is my location where my file will be generating. Right now, we have only two files. Let's just run the job. Okay, and this uh, scenario file. Okay, so this done. I have gen. I I was having th thousand records in file, and I have uh, used two hundred for separation for splitting the file. So I have six files, right? one and every sequence has a uh, different numbers and also let me check the sequence file is it 007 or not yeah this is so next time your job will run let just run it again 
next time your job will run your job uh, in its life will be started from 001 sorry 7 so yeah your part done it will be updated to 0013 i hope this is clear and we can check number of records present in files is it same is it different or what this is starting from richard This is starting from July, so yeah, we can say that file file initializing or separation is correct. A sequence also generated correctly, okay, and yeah, we are good to go. So I hope this is this is this will work for you also. And if you face any difficulty while working on, please do let me know in the comment section, and I will update this uh, scenario Excel sheet in that same drive which I shared earlier also. So that in future, if you face any related scenario problem, you can uh, come back to this file. And I will share the Google, uh, YouTube link also, video link also here. So that just, it will be help uh, to reduce your time for searching or uh, to figure out the solution, okay? So thank you for watching this video. And uh, do let me know in the comment section if, if this need any improvement or what I can do or if it is helpful please share with your friends also that's it thank you so much be safe be happy bye bye